I became pregnant uh, at the end of my first year of uni, and that was obviously a frightening experience. But I knew that from the moment I was expecting a baby, then I was a mother. And what must I do as a mother but protect my little one? And despite the challenges that that, that, um, that involved, there are so many charities and um, people out there that can help help us mummies who who become pregnant in situations that were surprises. Because there's nothing more important in this world than life. The sanctity of life is worth fighting for, it's worth dying for. And right now, too many people are choosing the wrong option. And they think it's the only option they have, but we have to tell them, no, there are always other solutions to the problem. Abortion is never a solution. It's ending a family, it's killing an unborn child. I did find that many of my friends said to me that they wouldn't have even considered to have the baby. They would, you know, wouldn't have thought twice, but just have an abortion. When I was a, a young married man and my wife, we were told because my wife was going to have a, a handicapped child, that we should have an abortion. And we were naive and we didn't know anything wrong with that. It was legal. Yes, sir. We said to the doctor, we'll have an abortion. At 14 weeks, my wife was finally aborted. They damaged her. We had trouble having children after that, and that's quite common. And during that time, one thing we did have was a handicapped child. What a blessing he was. Not a problem at all. And during also our time, we have adopted two children. They are now grown men. And they said many times, they're so pleased that their mother did not abort them because they have life now and they're enjoying it. It's my daughter, so we're in, in it together. <laughs> encouraged to see yeah. you and my children getting involved. We just discussed the issues, didn't we? And put the issues in front of them. I brought up Christian, so always been pro-life, but uh, my mum had some miscarriages and that really brought home to me the fact that children are children even in the womb. I guess as I got older, I realised that this is something we really need to talk about. Um, with other people my age because they're at the point where they're making these kind of decisions whether to keep a baby or not and they need to know that they can do it and that there is that hope to be able to um, manage a pregnancy and a child and, and go through life um, choosing life for both not just for one. Seeing that maybe the mother is very upset about the miscarriage and yet the same age of a child might be lost in abortion and we're not supposed to feel emotional about that. One child is valued and one child is just a choice. And the impact that has on that woman's life for the rest of her life there are lots of counselling services and prayer services available, but they shouldn't have to get to that point because that should be part of the conversation. When the doctor says, will this affect your mental well-being, they should th think about holistically. Mm. Having my little Lani, my first daughter, whilst no one else was having babies, actually did some really beautiful things. Like, um, she was like a, a magnet for my friends and she became like the reason that our core group of friends came together and you can't imagine what that's going to be like before and I know that's frightening but it is possible and, and I feel like I want to let other mums know that we can do it rather than say you know you can't do it we can do it and, and it can be really hard but it doesn't mean you, you shouldn't do it and you're a, a mum and you know being blessed with life how can we throw it away?